it means the world to me. And I received so much support from um, everyone back in Columbus. Like every day I'm getting messages or, you know, I'm, I'm meeting new people. It means the world to me being here because I know that there's a little girl that's watching TV or that gets to see me. And when they say from Columbus, Ohio, it's like, wow, that's their reality. That's their city that I know, that I come from as well. I'll give you a quick story with her. When I went over to Ridgeview Middle School to schedule those students who were coming to Northland, I'd heard of her, I had not seen her. So we're in the conference room and I'm doing their schedules and I go around the room and I ask the kids, what do you want to be? Now I kind of figured who she was, so I started at the other end of the table. We went around the table and when I got to her, she says, I want to play in the WNBA. So now I knew who she was. I had no idea who she was at that point in time. So I'm extremely proud of her because she made her dream happen. Syracuse was quite the journey for me. I knew that I wanted to go there um, very early on. We took a visit, they made an offer and I accepted it right away. Um, and I was like, it just felt like home. And it was what I needed. I wanted to, again, diversify, get out of my comfort zone at this time. So I went to a school that wasn't in Ohio. Um, and it was everything that I could have imagined. Um, I learned so much. I met so many amazing people, so many lifelong friends. I had an incredible experience. I made it to a national championship, first ever in school history. It, it was just so many blessings in that journey. Um, and that has also shaped me um, with being where I'm at now as well. The head coach, Lisa, and the Federation, some members of the Federation, the German Federation reached out to me and they said, hey, like we have a, a team that's trending in the right direction, but we need to naturalize a point guard. Like the missing piece for us is a point guard. Um, would you be interested in possibly getting, becoming a naturalized citizen and playing for us. We have the opportunity to play in the Paris Olympics next summer and qualifying tournaments. So this was last August. So I was like, absolutely. This is the opportunity that I never thought would happen. And I was I was 100% on board. It took nine months from the day that we had that conversation to the day I finally got my passport, which was May 29th. So I found out I was coming here to the this Olympics two months before everything basically started from opening ceremony to the time I got my passport was exactly two months. You gotta start in the classroom. That's the educator in me, you gotta start in the classroom. Cause none of those dreams will come true if you don't do the job in between the walls first. Then you can take it to the gym or to the court or to the football field uh, and make your dreams possibly come true. You wanna do your country proud. You wanna make your family proud and, and everyone who's allowed you to be in this moment there's like you didn't get here on your own there's so many people um there was a village before you got to the village is what i like to say you know that supported you through this journey and you, and you want to make them proud even though they're just proud with, by you just being there but like you want to win you want to perform i would hope she would embrace that experience of playing in the olympics that's a once in a lifetime opportunity for all you know and whether you win the gold bronze silver or bronze i don't think so significant. I think being there and taking in the opening ceremonies, their traditions. So I'm proud of her for having that opportunity to experience those things. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let a no stop you. I've been told no so many times. I've been told I'm too small. I'm not good enough. I've been told those things so many times. And if you accept that word as bond or accept those, you know, limitations as what people are saying, uh, it will stop you and no one can stop you but you. And that is something I've truly learned. Um, so my advice to them would be to do whatever you need to do to place yourself in position. If you see yourself as a collegiate athlete, go for it because you can make that happen and don't let anything stop you. I just want to say thank you for the opportunity. Thank you to the city of Columbus for the love, the support. I mean, it is truly keeping me going. And I know that me being here is bigger than me. Um, I have the whole city of Columbus behind me. So um, shout out to the 614 and I am hoping I'll make you proud.